Hey everyone, my name is Max here. I'm from Hampton, Georgia. Uh, for those of you who have never seen me before, nice to meet you. This is my first time doing a YouTube video. I've done podcasts and stuff like that, but this is my first time doing anything video format. Um, I love K-drama. I love K-pop. I love J-dramas. I like J-pop. Um, I love video games. Um, if you follow me on uh, my YouTube channel, or excuse me, well, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, rather, you'll see that I will talk about K-pop, I will talk about K-drama, and I will also be talking about video games. I haven't uploaded anything yet. This is actually my first video for it. Um, and I wanna thank Multifaceted HCG for allowing me to um, share my first video with you guys um, on her channel. I really appreciate this. Um, and I really appreciate what you do and I love your channel as well. So for giving people this opportunity, if I am so humbly selected, um, I really appreciate it. This will help me out tremendously. Um, but yeah, um, today I will be talking about Holland. Now Holland um, made a lot of headlines uh, if you follow like all K-pop or Korea Boo um, because he is a Korean singer, obviously, but he's the first K-pop idol to come out openly as gay. Now there have been Korean singers that have been gay and have talked about their sexuality, but this is the first idol you've seen to debut as an openly gay man. Um, his first single is called Neverland. He released his NV um, January the 22nd if you live in Korea, um, the 21st if you live in, in the U.S. Um, and the song, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a song that's about this young love, essentially, being 18, this feeling of meeting someone and feeling like you meet your teenage dream, as he says in the song, and that feeling of, like, this is, this is Wonderland, this person I'm with is, it's, everything that I could have ever dreamed of as far as my first love, my first relationship, but it's also dealing with the undertone of that I think a lot of relationships have in general, which is for whatever reason, there's something that's pulling you away or there's a difficulty or there's trauma. In this case, of course, it's the fact that he is, you know, this he's gay and that he's in a relationship with another man. And the MV as well as the song kind of explores the sad aspect. It shows them being a couple, having a good time, going to the beach, um, of course, there's a scene that was used in the teaser that was not completely shown, but you see it in the MV of him kissing his boyfriend or the boyfriend in the MV. And it's a very sweet, very romantic video. The two actually have really good, the two, the, his lead, Holland's lead in the video, seem to have really good chemistry. And it just kind of explores that idea of young love and the uncertainty that falls into it. And of course, him being a gay man adds a very unique aspect because you don't see that often in K-pop. Um, you don't see idols of you don't see idols that are openly gay expressing themselves and talking about their experiences in an MV such as this. I mean, we've had K-pop videos that explore homosexuality, but we've never seen it from the perspective of an actual gay individual. Um, so I really think the video is, of course, very progressive, and I also. Just vocally, I think Holland did a good job of choosing the first single. Uh, it could have been very easy for like a lot of K-pop idols to do a, especially one where he seems to be a vocalist, to do a ballad where they're just hitting the highest, highest note you could ever imagine, which I have no problem with. In fact, I actually like high notes in songs, so I think that's a, a really good whenever a singer could just blow the roof off with their high vocal pitch. But what I like about it is that it's a very relaxing song. It's a very calm song and it's also a very comforting song that suits his voice it's a song that shows that okay he does when he gets into the never mind a never land like it shows his voice control and how he's able to transition between you know a little bit of a higher pitch and then a lower pitch but more importantly it's a song that's just about trying to convey the emotion and the lyrics and instrumental and i really encourage um if you are interested in trying to listen to a more laid back song. You know, a lot of times we listen to a little bit bombastic K-pop that's a little bit hard hitting, which is nothing wrong with that. But every now and then you want a song to relax too. So I encourage checking out Holland's Neverland. And hopefully you subscribe to my channel, Maximus Vicious. You can't miss it. It's a big Yorkie on the profile picture. I mean, it's not big, but it's a Yorkie and it's a big picture. So thank you and I hope you like this video. And thank you Multifaceted ACG for giving me this opportunity.